Do this alone. You two head up to the council. Gray. It's all right, is he? I'll join you in time for the succession. Mes pensées sont avec vous, monsieur.
My condolences. Sir Percival was a great man. The best of us. I took the liberty of keeping these aside. I know it is not standard protocol. Grayson. Do not blame yourself for what happened. Let this cloud pass. How can I? He was my mentor. My brother. So he was. But concern yourself with the upcoming solemnities. The rest can wait. Too many questions remain, Alistair. I intend to find answers. Mallory's death will be avenged. Do not fall prey to dark thoughts of retribution. That way madness lies. Come. The council awaits our presence. Lord Hastings is on his way from the United India House. He wishes to thank you in person for saving his life and the lives of all the other people on the ship. The United India Company owes you a debt of gratitude. For over six centuries, the knight called Sir Percival sat with us in Brotherhood. He saw entire kingdoms perish, and others equally transitory take their place. He saw the rise of the half-breeds, and was relentless in their pursuit. To all these things he bore witness, because he was blessed by this. The Grail. The black water that courses through our veins. The bond that unites this order. The elixir which heals all wounds and extends the life of natural men. Yet it cannot ensure immortality. Now, Sebastian Mallory, once Sir Percival is dead. There is a tradition of bestowing a knighthood in our order only on the occasion of the death of him who bears that honor and burden. Generation after generation, new knights have taken the names of their hallowed predecessors. We are assembled here today on just such a solemn occasion. From blood of old. The Grail will give new life to you, Marie Joseph Paul Yves Rock, Gilbert du Motier, Marquis de Lafayette, swear to uphold the most noble precepts of our order. You pledge to give your life in service to our righteous cause? With all my heart and soul. Drink. May the Grail give you life beyond life.
by this communion, you are bound to our sacred order. Henceforth, only your blood shall replenish this vial. May the black water serve you well. Always use it wisely. I dub thee Sir Percival, servant of our great king and knight of the round table. Rise, Sir Percival, and assume your rightful place at our table. Guards! Remove Sebastian Mallory's body from the council chamber and take him to the crypt. This council is now called to order. Let the terrible tragedy which has befallen us serve as a warning to those who would defy the mandates of this office. The late Sebastian Mallory did not perish in the fight against the Heartbreeds. No. He died a victim of his own heedless enterprise and the negligence of those sworn to uphold the highest standards of duty and sacrifice. And to what purpose? Lord Chancellor, I must have... Public buildings destroyed! Innocent citizens placed at risk. Incalculable damage done to United India Company property. It is only by the mercy of Providence that an even greater disaster was avoided. All this while not a single rebel was taken into custody. On the contrary, by their rogue actions, the knights in question may have done the enemy a great service. The Lord Chancellor perhaps speaks too harshly. He would do well to remember that Sir Percival's force did uncover evidence of a rebel effort against the- Substantial evidence! Mere supposition, all of which resulted in a deplorable calamity. I will hear no more of the matter. With respect, Lord Chancellor. Sit down, Sir Galahad! With respect! I, too, have lost a friend. More than a friend. A brother. You do great wrong to sully his name in such a manner. You dance on the very edge of insubordination, Sir Knight. I am apprehensive of my responsibility in this affair. Yet if the same circumstances should present themselves, I would do exactly as I have done. As Mallory wished. My lords! Sirs! The rebels have ambushed Lord Hastings' carriage. He and his escort are trapped on the Westminster Bridge. All knights do arms! Protect Lord Hastings! Let's eliminate these godless rebels once and for all. Sir Galahad! This matter is not yet over. Someone will yet answer for Sebastian Mallory's death! Of that you can be sure. Arm yourselves, and take defensive positions on the bridge. Galahad, your command. Let's go. Sir Galahad! The carriage carrying Lord Hastings was hit in the middle of the bridge. We're not sure if anyone's alive. Look at Negrain Percival, with me. Things may still be alive. We must reach him. Knights! Wipe every last rebel off this bridge!
We need to get Hastings out. I'll cover you. Lucan, Igraine, on my mark. Pull him out when I lift the carriage. Understood. Ready? Now! We have him! Everyone fall back to the palace! Finish what we started. This is no time for vengeance. Come to your senses. That, that was my Grace, time. stop! Lord Hastings is secure. Does anyone have eyes on Galahad? Air Command, do we have any sentinels above our position? Sir Lucan, this is Sentinel 3. We are one league north of Westminster Bridge and so. Sentinel 3, find the Galahad and keep your eyes on him without fail. I'm a good man. I need one over here, the other on the right. Come on, hurry! Sentinel 3, I need air support. We are approaching your position, Sir Galahad. Acknowledge. Right up ahead! Take him out! Damn it to hell. Sir Galahad, we have spotted an artillery position atop a trolley east of your location. A shoulder cannon from the looks of it. Understood. Sir Galahad, rebels are moving in on your position. Let them come. Sentinel 3, do not lose sight of him. Ah. I'm up.
Sir Galahad, the rebels are in retreat. The royal army is en route. They will contain the threat from here. <clears throat> Fuck the army. This is my fight. Sir Galahad, the knight commander has... until we can get to his position. Leonard! A drink! A drink, goddamn you! Absinthe!
Good. Are you drowning in your sorrows, or your ignorance, Knight? Neither. I was waiting for you to show up. And? I need some answers. Answers? Is that why you killed all my men? Death always follows in your path. And yours will be next if you don't give me what I need. You'll have to excuse me if your offer doesn't entice me. I don't respond well to threats. Then you're of no use to me. Do your worst. So much animosity. You look like you can use some of this, Knight. The Blackwater. But how did you get Shall we call this a temporary truce? Apna hatare niche karo. Devi. If it keeps you at ease, you can keep your gun pointed. But I am the one you seek, not her. We have much to discuss. Let us find a more private setting. Let's leave us alone. Let's talk about it. Let's go to the black hole. What's your law, Rani? You seek to avenge your friend Mallory. Do not presume to speak his name. He was betrayed. You have all been betrayed. Betrayed? By whom? The men you call masters. The Order of Knights calls no one master. Not even the Queen. <laughs> You are an empire of bootlickers groveling at the feet of the mighty United India Company. Guard your tongue, woman! Your honorable cooperation spreads the very scourge you have so valiantly sworn to fight. The rantings of a fanatic! You seek the wrong enemy. We both fight the same evil. Why should I believe the word of a rebel? And an assassin? We are more alike than you think. We have nothing in common! Do not allow your friend to have died in vain! Enough! Tell me why I should not kill you! There are things worse than death, Knight. Much worse. And if it is mine you seek in your misguided quest, then so be it. My death is a worthy sacrifice. Do you deny the attempt to kill Lord Hastings? He deserves to die, along with every one of his collaborators. And you expect us to just step aside while you carry out your campaign of terror? Things are not as they seem. The company's secrets are well kept, even from the Order. What secrets? I do not have time for games! There is little I can say to sway your convictions. But there are things I can show you to give you the explanation you need. Your answers await at the company's docks in Blackhall Yard. But we must hurry. You had better be right. For your own sake. The underground tunnels would lead us to Blackwall Yard. Be prepared to meet heavy resistance from the United India Guards. Until I say otherwise, we will not harm innocent men. 
None of them are innocent. All the same, you will abide by my rules if you expect me to follow you. Very well. Hanging up your colors so soon? The Order cannot be seen as having any part of this. games are you playing? Thank you.